Hi guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Samantha and I am going to be reviewing the movie Uta Punjab. So this is my first Bollywood Hindi film review. So I just want to say that I am not a native speaker. I am going to butcher some of the names, probably some of the pronunciations, but just kind of roll with it and let's get started on my review. So this movie was made in June 2016 and it runs at 149 minutes. So it's not one of the longer movies that I've seen, but I definitely had to break it up into two parts, which I typically do. Um, it is on Netflix. So this one you can go ahead and check out right now if you have Netflix. So it's kind of convenient. You don't have to scour the internet to find it. So this movie takes place in Punjab, which is a state in Northern India. And the whole movie is literally about drugs, 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 <laughs> any kind of them. Um, all of them, you guessed it, it's in it. So pretty much the movie takes place. There's multiple characters that are in this movie and some of the big names are Shahid Kapoor. This is the first movie I've seen by him and he was absolutely handsome. So there's some eye candy for you ladies out there. Um, Alia Bhatt, Bahat, I don't know how to say her last name, Alia. Um, this is the third film I've seen from her and Homegirl, your acting was so good. I was really impressed with her. I feel like this was a film that kind of got her out of her teenage kind of typecast that she's become, that teenage girl. So this was really good for her to see her in a really distressing film and really kind of serious subject matter. And I think she nailed it really, really well. And lastly, Karina Kapoor is in this film. I've never seen anything by her. She's absolutely stunning and natural beauty. And so she just, every time I saw her come on the screen, I was just like, I want to be her when I grow up. She just looks like a very naturally beautiful woman. And she just looks really smart. And so, like I said, um, those are the three main characters in here that I'm going to be touching base on. But there were multiple characters. But those were the three I want to talk about. So the first one, Shahid Kapoor plays, um, he plays Tommy, which is the rock star in the film. And uh, so going into this movie, I didn't know anything about it. I really just liked the cover of it. It looked really cool. And um, an acquaintance of mine recommended it. And then I just happened to see it was on Netflix. So it was a no brainer that I wanted to go ahead and check it out. So it follows Tommy, Shahid Kapoor, and he is an up and coming rock star, I guess you could say. He has a few singles that have come out and everybody's loving his music, but it's having a negative impact and a really bad influence on the kind of the youth of the area. Um, it's all about shooting up and coke and doing lines and starting this and shooting up this and smoking this. So it's really heavy, heavy explicit material that he's singing about and so it's really kind of taken over and it's become the anthem of the youth and they absolutely love him and he's like amazing everybody wants to be him but it's definitely taking a toll on all the, the citizens pretty much in Punjab for the worst. Next is Alia. She is a farm worker who works for this company pretty much in the fields that's kind of from what I read and what I saw, it was kind of implied, but it's a fake kind of company. So it's really just there as a guise to kind of make people not wonder what's going on, but it definitely is an important export of drugs and that's kind of it's the shady deals that are going on. And so one day she comes across a big old sack of some Coke and she doesn't really understand what it is. And so, after kind of contemplating about it, she opens it up and realizes, oh, wow, okay. So she decides that, hey, I know people are addicted to this kind of stuff. What can I do to sell it and how much money can I make? So she ends up making a deal with the man that she's going to go ahead and meet. But when the day comes, she really panics and starts freaking out and she kind of backs out and she's kind of realizing, uh, where did I get myself into? These are really shady people. I'm a girl all alone in the middle of nowhere. Nobody knows where I am. This is a bad idea. But at that point, it is too late. And then they kind of kidnap her and use her as a prostitute in this kind of mansion type house building that she got kidnapped. And um, so it follows her storyline and how she's trying to escape and start all over and start a new life. And then lastly, Karina Kapoor's character. Uh, she is a doctor at a rehab clinic 
and um, she's trying to help all these patients that are coming in that are overdosing or dying or addicted to these drugs that are pretty much just commonplace now they're everywhere everybody's just just faded all the time I guess is the only way you can say and so it does kind of go on from there one of her patients that comes in happens to be the younger brother of a police official who is also kind of in charge of border control and he's realizing as the cop that a lot of the politicians government officials and his own colleagues in the police force are really doing some shady deals with import and export of drugs to get money and now that he sees that it's made a negative effect on his brother and that his own brother is addicted to these very things that they are trying to get money off of, him and Karina Kapoor start to try to think of a way to expose the government officials and everybody in high power so that way they can shed some light on the seriousness of pretty much the drug abuse that's going on in the town of Punjab, in the state of Punjab. So. All in all, I'd say this movie was good. The acting by Aaliyah, I have to commend her for because I have seen a lot of her films and they were just kind of, kind of cheesy. They were really cheesy, honestly, and she just kind of played a teeny bopper girl. So I was really proud of her for her acting ability in this movie. Um, the only reason I want to rate this movie about a 6 out of 10 maybe even a five is because I genuinely am not interested in drug topics that much even though it was a very serious film and the acting was really good I just wasn't in love with it I wouldn't rewatch it it was a little bit too depressing um, which I don't mind I can handle those kind of things it was just so heavy the whole time I would have appreciated a little bit more lightheartedness because whatever lighthearted happy pieces they had in the movie they went straight back to being sad and it was just it was just really heavy movie um i would say if you like narcos or kind of breaking bad maybe this is something you might be into so um it's on netflix like i said so it's easily um so it's easy to get a hold of to watch um also as far as the soundtrack i do want to go ahead and start reviewing soundtracks in the music in the Bollywood films. This one really wasn't a typical film where it had a huge soundtrack that I was kind of looking forward to or something that I listened to that very much. Uh, so there was like one song in there in the beginning song that Tommy the rock star character sings and it was okay. One thing I really enjoy about not knowing Hindi completely is that I just enjoy the music as it is. I don't understand the lyrics but once the lyrics came up on the tv screen it was all about coke and snorting shooting up i was like this isn't probably something i would listen to even if it was american music so um the song was okay it was all right but so i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you have any recommendations leave them down below i plan to do a top five bollywood films my least favorite movie reviews and um, just kind of going from there and seeing what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.